566. A uh, quick little review for you. So these are the RCN Power uh, 1003 motors. Um, I've got the higher KV variant, the 22,000 KV variant. And um, they're kind of an interesting motor that I've held off on for a little while um, for a couple reasons. One of the reasons is um, this sort of quirky mounting pattern that I kind of find aesthetically off-putting. It does work. So the idea here, so this is an Angry Dawn idea where um, you've got the standard whoop, uh, the 1.6 uh, millimeter hole on the 6.6 .6 diameter, so that's a little triangle. And then you have your M2 screws on your 9 millimeter, and that's these two um, holes on the outside. And it does work. I tried this on another frame, and it mainly works because these wires are so flexible that even though this M2 is going to put you at a funny angle, the wires are so flexible you can still go ahead and run that down the arm uh, pretty easily without the wires um, poking out too much. So um, I was holding off on these motors mainly because I was surprised by the 10 O2s. So I've been flying this setup here, which is a Skyrider frame, uh, Skyrider 98 uh, with a 1S board and flying it with the Gemfan 2015 props and with something like an R-Line 500 or the GNB Red Label 525 um, you get a surprising amount of punch out and um, you know reasonable enough flight time and I thought well it, the 1002 is kind of this edge case because it's basically it's just barely enough motor to spin those 2015s and what you do is when you have just enough motor, you kind of get this sweet spot of performance and efficiency where you're not quite over propped. So you get the benefits of the efficiency and the lightness of the motor. So you get a nice punch out. And I thought that, hey, if we go ahead and throw on the bigger motor and keep the KV the same, um, then we might get a little bit more power, but we're going to have efficiency problems and not get the flight time that we want. Sorry, that's not staying on that motor with the focus. Apologize. And that's kind of what I thought would happen, but I saw some spec sheets on the 1003s. And the spec sheets on both the 1002s and the 1003s, they put a little thrust data out there with 50% throttle, 100% throttle. They've been a little dodgy uh, on a couple things. And the main thing I saw was on the 22,000 kV, these were actually showing better efficiency than some of the lower kV. And I thought, okay, RCN power, maybe that's some quirk about, you know, picking the different winding um, that you're in there. Maybe you're just not getting enough copper in there on the lower KV, and that's not why you're not picking up the efficiency benefit. And I never bothered to really test that out because I like the 22,000 KV in terms of the performance. It's kind of a nice KV. Um, and there's just enough flight time on there to, to make me reasonably happy. So what I saw though on the spec sheets is that the 1003, although at 50% power and 100% power draws more amps, it produces so much more power, according to them, on the thrust stand with the 2015 prop, that it actually would be more efficient than a 1002. So they're saying the 1003, according to their, according to their data, the 1003 is actually more efficient than a 1002, and it's more efficient to a degree that it should make up for the extra weight of carrying the 1003. So I thought, why not try that out, put that to the test. And so I've got them on here, and I'll show you a little flight footage in a second. But let me show you the weight difference on these. All right, so get that teared up. So the 1002 is pretty light motor, 2.45 grams. And that's definitely lighter than you're going to get like, a, you know, some of the old really light 1003s or 1102s that we had. But then when you throw the 1003 on here, I, mean, I wouldn't call it a chunky thing, but it's 3.26 grams. That is well into the weight that we've seen some of these um, 10 or 1103 motors that you know we used to fly when they were available. Um, so that's you're putting on a gram per motor, and so for four motors, that's four grams extra. So that's quite a bit of difference. And quads are really quirky. Um, you kind of find a sweet spot of where you're just not drawing a lot of amps, and you get decent flight time add a little bit of weight, kind of hit, get over a tipping point, and the flight time falls off precipitously. So, um, otherwise, these motors are pretty nice. Um, they're fairly notchy. I think they control the props well. Um, they're smooth. They seem well balanced, um, as far as the ones I've had. 
I haven't beat them up much. I'm not sure how durability will go, but I think probably durability will be on par, if not better than the 1002. But um, when I put this up in there, and you can watch, you can watch the the DVR. Um, I am just not getting the real world result that would be suggested by this by the um, spec sheet. I get um, pretty similar. I get I don't get any performance benefit in terms of punch out. I don't think. Um, and then flight time is, is quite a bit down. Flight time is, um, you, I, th I think I'm losing about a minute of flight time with the 1003 motor uh, versus the 1002, which is kind of what I expect. I think the 1003, what it really needs is like a 55 millimeter prop, maybe even a 60 millimeter prop. And I think with the bigger motor, as you're able to bump up prop, you would get that flight time back, you'd get that efficiency back. I think you'd have to drop the, the um, KV though, because one of the things you'll see from the flight footage is uh, you get quite a bit of sag uh, with the 2015s. Um, so, uh, motor, I spent, I don't know, 50 bucks to get four of them, five of them. I spent more than that, no, because they're like, these are pricey too. I think they're like 15 bucks a piece or something like that. So, wow, that's a lot of money. I wish I hadn't just done that math in my head because that's kind of a waste of money. Anyways, it's a motor. Um, it needs a more efficient, bigger prop um, and probably needs a lower KV. Um, not working for me, maybe it works for you, but um, I'll leave you with that DVR footage and um, here you go. Three, two, one, arm. Okay, let's get this a little caught up in the air. So this is the uh, 1003 motors, flying on 1S, um, flying with the GNB uh, 550 red label, and I've got the uh, Genpan 2015 props. And basically what I've noticed about this quad is, I don't know why it's fluttering so much right now. This isn't typical, I'm getting a little more vibes and fluttery stuff than normal. but. I actually like the way, maybe it's a prop that I just changed out. Um, maybe have got a bad prop on there. See all that? Um, anyways, I think, I like the way this flies. Like, it feels good. There's a reasonable amount of power. But the main thing I'm seeing is just, it's not more power, it's not more performance than the 1002. And it's definitely, or at least I'm, I think it's definitely, uh, less flight time. One of the things I've been having a little bit of an issue with is it's been so hot out. Um, it's been really extreme temperatures, well over 100, and my little 1S boards um, have been going into like thermal shutdown. I don't like messing with that, and I'd rather the quad fall out of the air rather than fry something, so I haven't messed with that. But you can see how the core temp is coming up to 95. If that hits like 10, 101 or so, the quad will just uh, fall out of the air. So hopefully I can get a full flight here before that happens. Um, I actually just pulled this quad out of the freezer uh, to get a little extra uh, temperature time. And I think we're going to make it. I think I'm going to be able to show you a full uh, flight. With this battery and the 1002s, uh, this should really be able to make it well over 3 minutes, like 3.30. Um, and you're going to see here that I'm already down to 3, uh, 3.50 or 3.5 and I'm like two minutes. A fair amount of that is sag, so I'll drift this down. See how that pops up pretty good? Um, so a fair bit of it's sag, but I just killed the tattoo R-line uh, over sag in that. Yeah, I mean this is what I've been seeing. I've been getting like 230 out of it. I think that's real. Let's see what this bumps up to. So 3.6, you can see a fair bit of it as sag. Um, I'll try and fly a little bit more. I'm gonna watch this real close though. Um, it's making me nervous for this battery. I don't wanna kill this battery. Um, yeah, there we go. So that's bumping up to like 3.5 and you can see I'm only getting like two minutes, 40 seconds here. Um, and I'm gonna go unplug that before that battery drops down any further. 
Uh, excuse my dog drinking and the neighbors playing some kind of interesting music outside. All right, till next time. Cheers.